Tiana B here. Very excited because tomorrow is actually my live Q&A. So hopefully you submitted a question to secure your spot. Um, because submitting a question puts you on my invite list to the exclusive video feed that we're going to have where we can have this uh, live exchange of question and answers tomorrow evening. So go do that if you haven't done it already. In the meantime, this video um, is me sharing with you some life-changing advice. Slight exaggeration, it wasn't life-changing so much as it was like, it changed the life of my career because I learned how to tie my shoes properly, which helped save my ankles from probably way more sprains. Uh, so here we go. If you ever wondered what this extra hole was for, like right here, it's for this purpose. Well, breaking news, is to help lock and load your ankle into place. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So, I put this shoe on. And no, I don't wear socks. All right. So once the shoe is on, you want to tighten the laces from the bottom and really tighten it because these are your running shoes. These aren't lifestyle shoes. You actually have to do stuff in this and you need to feel supported. All right, so now we've got the shoe all tightened up. And at this point, this is when people usually just go into tying the shoe and then they leave these holes empty. We're not gonna do that. Okay, so we have the laces here. We're gonna make a loop with that extra hole like so. And don't pull the loops tight, just let them, let them stay up like the bunny ears we used when we were first learning how to tie our shoes. Okay, so we have these loops here. Now, you see these extra laces. Take the lace on this side, run it through the loop of the other side, and do the same on the opposite side. So now, you have this. Now pull as tight as you can, and then alternate and pull until you feel the whole shoe kind of locking around and hugging your ankle. It actually feels really, really good. And then you go into tying your shoe. And now that ankle is locked and loaded and ready for all kind of force application. So there you have it. That's how you tie your shoe. If you have that hole, you might even be able to make that hole in some sneakers, but it's worth it's worth doing because it el eliminates the a lot of the possibilities for rolling your ankle, especially if you train like I do and you do a lot of plyometrics. See you tomorrow with more random but helpful information like this. <laughs> Bye guys.